Madagascar is sometimes called an ark of unique life, for there's nowhere else quite like it on Earth. This enormous island separated from mainland Africa millions of years ago. Today, Madagascar harbors countless unique species found nowhere else on the planet. Entire groups of organisms evolved and diversified here, including lemurs, chameleons, and countless insects and plants, all part of this lost world of unique life. The forests of Madagascar are also home to an incredible species of the lemur family. This is the most strange animal on the whole island of Madagascar. This species only comes out at dark, so it's quite difficult to see. But one of the best places in all of Madagascar to find it is a little island located just over there. So let's jump in the boats and see if we can find it tonight. The animal I'm searching for once occurred across much of Madagascar, but it's been killed throughout most of its range for nothing other than its fearful appearance, which has led to it being known as Madagascar's demon lemur. For over 10 years, I've hoped to see this animal in the wild. It was well into the night by the time I reached the island. This is the home of Madagascar's demon lemur. It's very shy and very difficult to find, but some have been spotted up on a little hill up here on this island. With a bit of luck, we'll find it. The forests of this island teem with wildlife. Nocturnal lemurs peer from the branches. But this isn't the creature I've come here to see. To stand a chance of seeing the demon lemur, we have to proceed very quietly. A team of guides put several coconuts down here in the trees in front of me. With a bit of luck, some of the eyes on this island might smell the coconuts and hopefully be attracted down and feed on them. We have to be really silent, because if we make any noise, the eyes will hear it and not come. So let's watch and see what happens. Suddenly, something moves in the darkness. Madagascar's demon lemur, the Ai-Ai. For hundreds of years, local beliefs across Madagascar have held this creature to be a bad omen. In many parts of the country, it's still believed today that when an Ai-Ai appears at a village, a child will die, or there'll be a bad harvest. And so Ai-Ai's are killed whenever they're seen and put up on stakes to ward off evil spirits and other eyes, With their strange, wiry fur, huge eyes, and bat-like ears, it's easy to see where this superstition comes from. But far from being a demon of the forest, in reality, eyes are shy, and they have many amazing adaptations. The eye eye is one of the most specialized of all species of lemurs. Just check out its middle finger. It has a unique, really thin, almost skeletal finger, which it uses to winkle insect grubs out of holes in trees and logs. Or here, to reach the milk of a coconut through a hole. No other animal on Earth has an appendage quite like this. 
Just look at that finger. Isn't it weird? It's really easy to see why the Aya is called the Demon Lima. This creature of darkness is one of the strangest mammals on the planet. No other lemur has a tail quite like this, or such strange long but thin hair. But these traits give the eye eye balance and allow it to be an excellent climber in these tropical forests. And of course, its huge brown saucer-like eyes enable the eye eye to see brilliantly in the dark, far better than my camera can record. My time observing the eye eye was brief, and soon it disappeared back into the forest, melting into the darkness. Unfortunately, eye eyes coming into villages across much of Madagascar is still seen as a bad omen. But local belief has it that if you go out into the forest and actively kill an eye eye, it brings even worse luck. With this local belief, Hopefully, the few IIs that remain will stay safe and have a secure future in Madagascar's remaining protected forests.